Once upon a time, not in my time or your time, but a time somewhere between reality and imagination, there comes a tale I have to share with you. It's a story, actually a parable, about dreamers, makers, and future shapers. And it begins, well, in the beginning, <laughs> in a place called the Construction Zone. Whatever you're doing, drop it. <sighs> Next time I'll just say, guys, listen up. So, I have some regrettable news to share with you. Unfortunately, sales have fallen off. And if we don't keep up with the marketplace, we're going to all be out of a job. How is that possible? Yeah, we're a company called the Construction Zone. We build things. And if things aren't going well, we'll just build something better, stronger, faster. The problem is, we aren't building anything better, stronger, faster. We're doing the same old thing. We can come up with a good idea. I know we can. Well, you better dream fast, because we're running out of time. The future is passing us by. And if we're not careful, it'll be too late. Sometimes, the greatest dreams are born in the midst of tough circumstances. So it was in this case. But one particular dreamer had heard of an idea. The stuff of science fiction, really. A concept ripped straight out of a comic book. He heard about a man, an eccentric, an inventor, who had developed an idea. An idea he hoped might just help him dream of something new. Now what are we doing here again? We're here to meet a man with a plan. A man named Stan? No, 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 no. A man with a plan. What kind of plan? It's more of an idea than a plan, but man, if we can get this guy to share it with us, then we can really start dreaming about what to do. But why are we meeting him here? Because he's a very important guy, and the stuff he's working on is top secret. Are you guys from the construction zone? That's us, and who might you be? Uh, that's classified. Let's just say I'm a guy that knows things. What kind of things? That's classified. All right, so if you won't tell us who you are and what you're doing here, why are you here? Wait, 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 don't tell us. It's classified. Got it. Even so, you're prepared to Give us what we talked about. That was our arrangement. Good. Thank you. That concludes our business? I think so. Good luck. Wait, 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 wait. How do we get in touch with you if we have any if we have any questions? You can't. Because your location is classified. Hey. Don't worry. I'll find you. Once you get a concept, I'll contact you the same way I did before and take a look at what you developed. Okay. Alright. Classified or not, it was exactly what he was looking for. So he took the dream to share it with his fellow makers. Some people who really thrived on taking ideas, concepts and visions, and turning them into reality. So explain to me again, what are you working on? It's based on nanotechnology. We take everyday familiar things and reconstruct them in totally new ways. So even now, we're brainstorming on how to use things that we already have. And once we do, 
we will create something that the world has never seen before. I must admit, I'm a little skeptical. So, where did you get this technology? It's, it's classified. classified. Well, classified or not, it had better work. Well, we can get started on the research and development right away. I'm sure we can come up with something. We might just come up with something that will forever change the way people do things. Well, I'll believe it when I see it. Anything can happen when dreamers and makers collide. And when they do, the impossible becomes possible. Okay, y'all said you had some good ideas. What do you got? This. Yeah, that's a basketball. That's, that's not a new invention. Ah, but it's not a basketball. Remember, familiar things in new ways. It's a nanoball. Watch. Throw it here. It can become any kind of ball. Throw it here. So, can it be a tennis ball? Can it be anything? Amazing, right? Throw it over here. So if it can be any kind of ball, can it be a debutante ball? Mm-mm. It's not the same thing. Okay. But check this out. A hammer? No. A nano tool. Check this out. Cool, huh? Well, looks like since I provided you the technology, I'm not only brilliant, I've saved your company. It really is amazing when dreamers and makers impact future shapers. Often people talk about changing the future, but it's rare when people dare to not just change it, but believe they can shape it. It's not for the faint of heart, because you never know what might happen. Well, looks like we saved the company. <laughs> I bet we'll get a raise with how hard we've worked. So, guys, I'm so sorry. I've had to cancel the production of all of our nano products. Why? Well, because they were destroying the sales of all of our other products. I'm not following you. Well, it's simple to understand, really. It, we changed the marketplace. So instead of people buying balls for all the individual sports, they only had to buy one ball, the nano ball. As a result, the sales of basketballs or footballs or tennis balls or playground balls tanked. Sure, because instead of buying each one, they just bought the one ball instead. Yeah. Right, so instead of a basketball and a tennis ball and a soccer ball, they were just buying the nano ball. Right, and so instead of three individual sales, in total, we only had one sale. And the tools for home improvement projects? The same. We couldn't set the price point high enough on the nanotech stuff to recover the loss. You guys are priceless. Don't blame me. I, I gave you the technology. What you did with it is on each of you. What we did was ruin the company. I, you're right. We I, were I, just trying to help! No, 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 you did not ruin anything. Listen, when profits were good, I reinvested. I expanded the plant, I pushed funding for new development, and we have a much better understanding of the consumer base now. The nanotechnology got us ready for the next new thing, a new beginning. So the construction zone is about being a work in progress. Yeah. Just like each of us. And if we can remember to live by the construction code, then not only are we a work in progress, but anything, anything can happen. Every dreamer, maker, and future shaper is a work in progress. They're not afraid to ask questions like, what can you do? How can you do it? And should you do it? And what happens when you do? Those are all questions that not only must be asked, but you have to be ready to live out the answers. 
but the future is waiting for those who answer them. And it can only be found when you're willing to move outside of your comfort zone, roll up your sleeves, and go to work. Press through the difficult times. Every future shaper knows that it is never too late for new beginnings. Wow, I wonder where they stored all those balls they didn't sell. Check in here. <laughs> <laughs>